Now baby can you shake that thing for me Let's see you drop your love show me what's waiting for me yeah. Hey yo my artist King Taco is the next R&B sensation You heard you got a bag Get at me Hey yo, after you watch this story, make sure you check my little short story at the end of this video. You heard Brownsville, good a good Brownsville, Brooklyn story for y'all. You heard, get at me. Hey yo, shout out to the whole East Side Harlem. Shout out to the whole Wagner. You heard, if you from Harlem, get in them comments. Let me know what block, what Ave, what street, what projects, what strip. You out there repping. You heard? Make sure y'all check that playlist, new and recent episodes where I got all the episodes in chronological order so you could check all of those and you ain't gotta never worry about missing a drop. You heard? Shout out to the bro Buller from Wagner. You heard the whole First Avenue, Harlem, East Side. Make sure y'all follow me on that TikTok where I got about 30, 40 exclusive stories you may have never heard in your life. You feel me? Gotta just bite the bullet and download the app, bros. You know, under the team, it was, um, it's 10 years, right? I'm like, yes, I know, but I'm going to trial. Like, you super serious? Are you on medication and stuff? Like, that lady was looking at me like, this nigga gotta be bugged out. Like, also, real shit, niggas was looking at me like, yo, you got a neighborhood defender. He's good, but you about to go to trial for your third time? You know, your third time is not always a charm. I said, well, I'm gonna make it that way. Said, you said you laid up on Rikers Island for seven straight years? Seven and a half years. When that shit was on article and all, I talked to the Tina Moore joint. For how many yeah. How many different cases? I had, I had um, one charge, but it was like they gave me six counts. I had murder in the second, um, three criminal possession of weapons. You know, you do the third, second degree and all that shit. And then I had, um, um, they, they did some weird shit. They, they, um, they, they charged me with um, trespassing. And all because they found me a threat to say, trespassing. Then niggas searched me three times. Then after they searched me, I get in the precinct. The nigga, the nigga, like, well, let me search him again. I mean, what happened? Like, if you could talk about it, if it's something that you could talk about, like, what happened that got you locked up in the first place? Oh, I, I was going to, I, I, was, I was with my peoples and shit. We was going to a building. And I was in the exit and all that, chilling, smoking, you know, regular shit, party going on. Niggas doing what they doing. Some shit just went off, the shots went off, and I spent off. When I spent off out the building, two of my mans got stopped. I, I'm on parole and shit, I had like 118 days left, so you already know, outside past curfew, nigga ain't trying to be... What you mean, y'all went to y'all went to like a, a, a function? I, I was in the hood, I was in the hood. This shit happened in my project. I was in the hood, I was in the hood, I went, I went to a building, niggas is doing what they doing. I'm, I don't really fuck with niggas, I be on my... My first side shit chilling with who I chill with. So I'm, I'm chilling. Next me little nigga shots go on. Boom. I'm like, oh, I'm out of here, nigga. I'm outside. Two Sunday in the morning, I'm going. I spin out the building. Two of my mans, they, they get stopped by police. I spin off. The niggas chase me, all this crazy shit. I get booked. You already know, nigga on parole. Nigga just came home. Next thing you know, these niggas searching me. Fucking bullets appear. I get a parole violation. I'm in a fucking, I don't even know what the parole violation shit is. I'm in a, I'm in a 25th precinct for like five days. My people's coming. They trying to get me food and all that weird shit. You know, these niggas trying to do DNA samples and all that crazy shit. Trying to get like, oh, you want to drink? Uh, you already know, nigga know how that shit go. So I ain't even sweat that. Next thing you know, I go to the Manhattan house on like um, April 22nd, April 22nd, 2016. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm in the spot. Like, they're going for wall valley. I don't, I don't know how that shit works for me. Like, it's my first time. I went up north 2011, came home 2013. I'm, I'm, I'm 22 years old, locked up again. Like, I'm like, damn. I go to my parole hearing, May 6th. Them niggas revoked and restore me. they like, Yo, you're going to get released. They had to wait till the end of the night. Next thing you know, I see niggas from the hood keep coming in. All these crazy shit going on in the block. So, next thing you know, niggas like, I got an eye card. I'm like, the fuck is an eye card? Yeah, yeah, we gotta talk to you about our car. I'm like, oh man, get the our car. Them niggas keep me with the same tens. Send me to the little Chinese precinct. Bring me back. Next thing you know, I'm going to court. I, I, I got, the, I got, a, I got a gun charge now. I'm like, nigga, I've been locked up 16 days. Ain't had none of this bullshit. It was a rule violation. Like it was like they was just throwing shit on me. Like they was like, I ain't letting this nigga go. My first bid, I did an attempted weapon possession. 
corny nigga did some rat shit. Corny, you know how niggas do. Niggas act like they ain't tell. You find out later on after you switch your neighbor to friend the nigga. He get a one and three to four. I get it two years. Come on. So all I'm thinking is this parole shit, I'm good. 118 days left. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna finish my parole. I'm good. Next week, you know, niggas charge me for the, for the CPW, May 6th. And um, in the second, you already know parole. You can't bail out. My people's ready to put whatever. 150, I'll be out. But I know I was on the remand. June 23rd, 2016, order to produce. I'm getting my visit. I got an order to produce. I'm like, what's going on with this shit? Like, OTV, you can't deny it. I'm like, what? I got a visit. They sent me right upstairs to Manhattan House. I'm right to the courtroom. They remanded me. They charged you with murder. I'm like, oh, it's late. It's game time. They charged me with that. I said, I, I, it took me 34 months to go to trial. I went to trial. I had six counts. Um, 13 people showed up. It was crazy. I'm seeing niggas I know from the town. Niggas is just acting like they don't know how to hear. Then the DA like, oh yeah, you told you told them this, you said this, you said that. Um, did, did you say this? They like they forced me. All they, all they kept saying was the police forced me to say this. I didn't know what happened. They forced me. They told me to write this. I just wrote this down. I'm like, and then it seemed like all the DD files. You know, you see the redacted shit. It's like everything is like, oh, like this is that. Like oh. Um, I, I seen him, his son was there, but I, ain't, I don't know what else would happen to this person doing this, that, and like, shit was all over the place, so, nigga like me, neighborhood defender, you know, your lawyer ain't really trying to do so much, so I'm on him, on him every day, I'm talking to the jail house niggas, I'm like, what's up, like, what we gonna do, what are these, what are ballistics for, like, how long is it gonna take to find out about the DNA on the firearm, no, no DNA on the gun, no DNA on the gun magazine, nothing, everything was just, like, nothing on that shit, you know, how this shit, like, how y'all blaming somebody for the shit? There's nothing on that. I bet. You said like, they, was they the, found, they caught you with a hammer? Nah, they didn't catch you with a hammer. But they found the hammer around, the, like, behind the building. The same route I ran. So it was on some shit like, he ran that way. We found it 22 minutes later. Some random nigga picked this shit up. Random nigga got the call. You know, you're on trial. You see everything. The random nigga get a call, something happy. He spins off, talks like three different niggas. Out of nowhere, police seen in the area, like my third trial, I started seeing more videos. Like every trial, the shit started showing different shit. You see niggas walking by, you got police seeing random um, civilians just walking around. So I'm looking like, what? Niggas seem like it's been shot out the window, all type of shit. Like, the fuck? Like, then you got civilians saying that people was there, sitting at the area, and out of nowhere, this nigga just come out of nowhere and find it. Police don't find it, but this nigga find it. Then you told me the three, four different niggas before you find it. There was this mass circumstantial evidence, y'all reason that was shit, like that shit was just weird, like niggas was really just scaring everybody to say whatever, like all of them kept saying, the police, this detective said this, and I had to do it, they was gonna, they was gonna um, lock me up, they was gonna lock my cousin up, they was gonna take away my crib, you know niggas ain't trying to lose the crib at night, you like, y'all niggas ain't got nothing to do, you remain silent, like niggas gonna be staying at tour, everybody be, that's why I speak shit as a myth, bro, like nigga, I did my two year bid, came home, Exactly like they the same shit's white. Everybody just and that the niggas start telling. I'm like, oh this shit crazy. What do you mean on dudes that dudes that got nabbed up, they started saying that you did it? Like they was like, like you know niggas be you know a niggas mind, nigga die, whatever, they be on some shit like yo, I don't, I don't know what's going on, bro. Like the dude the hood said this or this person said that, you know that shit be it. So it was like it was just mad weird, like and I it was just fucked up and I'm like, damn, and that niggas is in a town doing all the extra shit, getting caught up for other shit, and that niggas is just talking about oh yeah, they, they said this happened, you wasn't there, that's hearsay, like so it was just everything that discriminated them. But it was just they was only due to the fact Nigga on parole, outside past curfew. Nigga trying to be silent, ain't trying to talk about nothing. I don't want to discuss nothing. I don't know what happened, nothing. Don't, couldn't get involved with that. That was the whole thing. So that's how, they was, they was mad. They like, damn, we got him on parole. He ran for police. That don't mean you guilty. That's bullshit. That's nothing. Because you, this could come out the building. Then when they found out I was on parole, that was like, damn. The jury's felt that like, yeah, he outside, on parole. Nigga, he, he, he trying to stay out the way. I'm letting them niggas know I got a t- couple of days left. Like, I'm about to be a free man, I'm about to leave, you know, start a better life. I like, think it's always trying to put you back in that circle and, and fuck up everything for you. Word, jeez, I was that, that trial back to back. I went to trial three times. So, three so times. what they did, like, after you came out the tombs, what they just they sent you to Rikers Island? Now, I, I stayed there when I got rearrested May 6, 2016. I stayed there for a little bit. 
then now you gonna go into the box and get into shit. You know, from the east side, man, niggas coming up from the town, niggas seeing niggas. You start fucking with other niggas, certain niggas feel away. You know, like nigga, you know, see a nigga moving good. See old bitches fucking with niggas. You know, get your little perks. You know how that shit go. Niggas is here. So, but it was all love. I had all my real rights on me, like clipping my niggas. Shout out to my boy, Shotty, you know, you know, niggas, you know, from the east side. Brothers, you know, it was just, so I, I went, I, I went from MDC, and they had me go, I went to, um, to the other side of the building, like, um, the 6 West, over there, I was over there on that side, that's when he sent me, so I went to Old Boy, I was just all over the place, the only place I ain't never go was NIC and Brooklyn House, everywhere else, like, seven and a half years, I was all over, like, everywhere, like, when I came home, I came home from the four building, I was there from 2022, June, all the way to December. I've well, been home nine months, bless, you know, out the way, out of state, you know, chilling. Still gonna see my family and shit. Like, that shit was just weird, bro. Like, them, that CCRB shit, all them police, the 25th precinct, PSA 5, them niggas really searched me three times, found nothing on me. In the pre, I'm in the car, nigga digging in my pockets, like, some, some corny ass thing. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know, you just be tight like that. Niggas locking me up. They say, you know, I'm going to priest and the niggas say we found this. I'm like, fuck that, fuck that, found this. No DNA or nothing. N- nothing matched my DNA. The only thing that was the problem I had was the parole outside past curfew. And then he ran. Why he ran for? Who the fuck? When he began interrogated, questioned, harassed by police all day. That shit is weird. That's what they do on the regular. Like, niggas ain't trying to go through that. So that's, that was my whole thing. Not only that, but you was outside past curfew, so that was probable cause for you to be running right there. Like, you yeah, wasn't trying to get nabbed up on parole. Yeah, so that's that's what really killed him. Like, damn, they like, this nigga in the precinct for five days. You ain't no liquor wearing off. I'm tight. I'm like, damn, these niggas about to do some weird shit. I don't know how parole is. You know, for, I never knew about no violations. So I'm like, oh, these niggas got me in the precinct all this day. They're like, what you gonna do with this dude? They're like, yo, we gonna send him to the house. Like, the fuck is the house? They sent me over there. I see the whole east side, all my real rights there. I said, no, no, all these niggas, everybody, did it, everybody, all these, everybody, all the real rights for two seconds. Everybody, the whole east side was in the spot with me. He was at Five North. He was there, with the Bronx niggas, mad. You know how that shit be going. Niggas be wild. It was, it was, it was just like niggas still want to stay focused. Niggas is losing hope, getting smack, smack face. Niggas have the flashlights, the spot. Niggas is wildin', talking about, nah, we gotta make it out, bro. Niggas can't be in here. Niggas is good, man, all that sex. You know, like, you know, still presentable. Just cause the nigga down, it gonna still look clean, keep it right. Like, niggas say, bro, we gotta make it out. Like, niggas can't end the chapter here. Like, I'm like, burn, I did seven and a half on Rikers Island. That shit was crazy. Three times going to trial, 2019, 2022, 2023. I was like, nah, I was on it. And with my niggas, I'm seeing these niggas taking 20, like it's nothing here. I'm gonna take 20 years, I'll be home 16 more years. I got like four in, I'm gonna do 12. I'm like, nah, these niggas is violent. But niggas already knew. Certain niggas, niggas ain't want to gamble that day. Some niggas just they ain't want to, nobody want to do that trial shit. Niggas like, boy, you want the trial? My first trial? Nine people want the trial. Three niggas only went home. <laughs> and I was blessed. I had 11 to 1, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm blessed. Nigga, I'm, I, I never forget. I'm in a. I'm trying to tell my lawyer to. Um, I want to talk to him, like to get my paperwork. I mean, how the fuck I've been locked up 18 months and I don't get no paperwork. Everybody like, bro, what's up with your lawyer? I'm like, I don't know, bro. These niggas ain't giving me no paperwork. He was a public, um, public defender. Yeah, I had, I had a neighbor. I had, I had a neighbor defender. Shout out to my son Ivan A. Vogel. He worked. He worked doing something else now, but he was definitely sturdy. My son, like Phil Murphy, he's like, yo, bro, you got 33 witnesses, bro. Like, you wow, you really gonna go to trial? I'm like, yeah, nigga, I'm not fuck all that. I was on, I was outside. I passed curfew. That's it. I got a on the store. 16 days later, I was gonna let me go May 6, 2016, which I niggas seen that. The news and all these niggas politicking, making up shit. Niggas is just pointing the fingers at niggas, saying whatever they're saying. They're like, yo, fuck that, we ain't let him go. I was like, all right, niggas wanna play like that? She just had me on game time. I right, bet. It took me 34 months to start my first trial. I never forget, I'm seeing niggas coming. I'm like, damn, niggas from the block really coming through. Like, a lot, a lot of them did right. Not, not, not all of them was doing a little wishy washy shit, but all reality the deal was mad because every statement that she had, all of them kept saying, Yo, I never said that. You made me say that. Y'all forced me to say that. This detective said this. I had to do this. I had to do that. I'm like, Damn, yo. All of them doing was looking at the calendar, like, nah, I gotta make it out. My mom's there, pops there. 
Nigga, they did some weird shit. Shoot, I was talking about, nigga, they took my family phone, which I lied, say we did some, like, exposing the shit in the hood. Like, niggas wasn't even on that. Like, niggas knew what was going on from the town, in and there, and niggas just try to flip it, like, the second, third day of the pre-trial. Like, oh, oh um, um, we need to confiscate phones. They took my mom, father, sister phone, locked my brother-in-law up for some other shit that he had going on. It just wanted to be weird. It just discouraged niggas. Like, damn, they make a nigga don't want to come. Like, you know, if you come to come to a court day, you're like, damn, niggas taking cell phones, they locking niggas up, they doing background checks. Like, all this weird shit, niggas, I'm like, damn, they trying to make sure I don't got no support. Still did good. Six weeks, back to back, Monday through Thursday. I know I used the, the Muslim thing. I was like, yeah, I'm a Muslim. I ain't going on Friday. It's quiet. <laughs> Bro, I was lit, man. I'm like, and that you shit, said, that And you said you, 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 you ain't in no gangs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was just like, I, I, my lawyer, like, yo, just do Friday. See, um, the Muslim religious, so you could be able to not go on Friday. Yeah, I wasn't in no game, none of that. Like, I knew all the real rights. I've been around all the real rights. I was, I How was, was that shit, though, in these days and times, not being in no type of game Ooh. on Rikers Island for seven years? <laughs> that shit is different. Just knowing, like, you know what's so crazy? Me being there, you just, like, you don't really know, so you got to be around... It's sad, but you gotta be around niggas you really know that truly care about you. Like my son Luna was there for me, my son Shadi, niggas still like certain niggas, like niggas still doing time. So these real bro, this don't trust all these niggas. You can't think everybody's good. These niggas ain't niggas be pretending to be shit. Nigga act like he fuck with you just because you got fucking books. Nigga got BBO magazines. Nigga fake fuck with you for that. Nigga got bags, yo. Nigga you got dupe like just little shit. Niggas that shit is beneficial. Like then you got niggas that's like who the fuck is this nigga? Why he so? Decent, they cool out the way. Nigga ain't no dick sucker. Like, they don't like niggas that's not dick sucking, trying to be, yo, bro, I chill. Yo, bro, I'll give you a 21, I can chill with you. Like, like this fiend shit, like, that shit be just sad. Like, niggas really be want to be accepted. Like, it used to be, I used to be like, yo, I'm glad I'm not one of these niggas, bro, because you got niggas that really do anything to be down. Like, a nigga be in the crib two, three days, next thing you know, you pop it off on one nigga, or some pop old dummy shit. Now, niggas is gassing back like he lit, bro, reality, they using this nigga. And nigga, he, and then mine, he like, yo, niggas fuck with me, bro. Like, I'm going out for niggas. Nigga probably have, like, a 90 fucking day XCOM bid, a Willow bid. Next thing you know, they catching the two to four. They're like, niggas was coming in there for 45 days doing two to fours, three to six. When I was in my house, it was no cameras for six months. It was going down. I was in a crib where it was lit. Niggas had to, I was in a spot where they started the five, five, five shit. So it was like me and my 10 neutral niggas, we on point, all other niggas doing what they doing, niggas just, like niggas just getting axed out. Like, I used to be on the spot, like, before it was like nine o'clock, I'm standing by my door, like, I already know, like, niggas just right like, moving funny, niggas hands in their hands, all this weird shit. Niggas just moving here, so you get this town, they got a bad day, niggas just wanna put it out on somebody. You, you neutral, that's what shit happened. Like, niggas feel like because a nigga neutral, he don't got no help, or a nigga ain't gonna defend himself. Cause you see, you in the house with 47 niggas, 10 new two niggas. Everybody else is whatever these niggas is. Like, so you be like, you know me off the rip. I come out and my shit's tied everything. Cause I don't know, you never know you're gonna be in a spot with. Even if you're in a spot with your niggas, that shit don't mean shit. I told my man's one time, nigga in the spot, he got slippers on it. I know you gonna laugh when you hear this shit. My son in the fence right now, he like, he's like, bro, I'm good, I'm gonna put the slippers on, nigga. You wow, they put the whole east side of him. I don't give a fuck. Nigga got on the phone, think he was smooth. And nigga came out of nowhere. I'm on the corner though, he ain't peeping. So you know, I really fuck with something like that. He ain't all know for the town, I guess. Nigga try to smell my son. I got ran involved with that. Whoop, what you did? His other man tried to fake, tried to spray me. I'm like, oh, but I threw my sweater. I had the two sweaters, and we supposed to go to wreck anyway. So it was early, like eight in the morning. I'm like, oh, these niggas trying to pull a dummy. Start smacking a boop, boop, boop. My son doing his thing, whatever. Nigga still got his slippers on. Shit's come off. He ain't got the fucking clap down. You know, he tight. I'm wild. I'm like, boop, boop, boop. My son dance moves and them niggas come out. So old boy, them niggas come out. Slamming the nigga. And you see that you can tell a nigga that line that he looking back like, damn, shit ain't going right. Like, niggas be trying to eliminate the people. Like, yo, it's like a neutral. They fuck with these niggas. I'm going to knock these niggas off. So y'all can balance it. Now, I was just, we can eliminate who we want to eliminate. That shit really test my check us for real and that shit, bro. Like, old funny shit. Like, you really learn. Like, me being home for this nine months, like, even when I get on the bus, like, shit, I be like, oh, this shit is just weird. All these mental health niggas be wilding. I be, I be trying to just stay away from niggas. You just never know what nigga thinking, what they going through. 
Niggas don't know where I came from. I'm keeping it regular, but niggas be bugged out, pushing niggas on the train. Like, it's just too much weird shit. Like that shit is no joke, bro. Being on Rikers Island for a few months is crazy. So a nigga being on that joint for seven joints. I know that Arr. shit. That shit gotta fuck with a motherfucker's mental Arr. health. That shit fuck yeah, with your mental crazy. health, bro. You hearing them alarms all day, hearing the motherfucking COs running through the hallways all day long. Yeah, that's that's how it be. The nigga be, the nigga, they they really, and it's like it's it's sad that niggas is just used to the fuck fuckery shit they do. Like nigga be nigga being nigga be going to court intake, some shit happened, that stopped the process. You got 10 other officers. Why the fuck is one incident stopping the whole process? Like, alarm happened? Like, all these niggas got to be there for that. Like, half of these niggas probably don't want to come to work. Half of these niggas just want to just be involved. Thousands of niggas want to catch a workers' comp. That's the shit. You know niggas always say that, yo. You know what I mean? Like, get that workers' comp. Like, you know, that shit be crazy. Like, that bullpen therapy shit crazy. And it's like, that, it's just like, it is what it is. Like, it is like what, it's so, it's so crazy when niggas start hearing so much and niggas be dry cinching, doing no informing shit, telling these niggas what's going on. So now they know niggas lingo. They, it's like they just saying the same shit we said. Like, damn, like, what the fuck? Like, like, these niggas be like, you ain't gonna 48 me, you ain't this and that. Like, damn, like, what the fuck? Like, these niggas really think they, like, they really, like, y'all yeah, niggas is still, it's like, come on, y'all yeah, niggas babysitting, y'all yeah, niggas act like y'all doing the most. <laughs> they like, or, or like, that, that shit is crazy. Going back and forth to court, just imagine, every time you go back and forth to court, you come, you come back. I'll be done out of court by 5 o'clock. I'm in the fucking bullpen until like 8.30. Then they send me to another bullpen. So I'm in there for like an hour and a half. These niggas are stolen. You got certain niggas doing phony shit so the bus, so the bus ain't trying to leave. Like that shit just be, niggas on the bus two, three hours, niggas pissing and, and going crazy. Setting flyers like, get me the fuck out of here. Niggas just wild. I'm like, oh, these niggas is crazy. I'm like, yo, oh my god, I gotta go to trial one more time. I just had my little mistrial. I was hyped, nigga, 11 to 1. You couldn't tell me nothing. 2019, like that. Yeah, 11 to 1 himself. Had that confidence. Niggas, niggas look like that. Nigga, that nigga really wasn't playing, nigga. They were defenders, still made it happen. That's when you, that's when you know, like, I'm around niggas that got money. Niggas talking about they spent 50, 80 on the whole year. I'm like, damn, I wish I had it. I'm alone. Nigga. I'm 22. I'm like, damn. I was the nigga. My mom's for me, making sure I'm good, doing what she can. But niggas ain't got it like that. Like, for me, like, that shit be, that shit have a nigga be like, right, I'm going to do my own work. I'm going to make my lawyer work. I used to tell that nigga, I don't give a fuck if you're not paid. You get paid by the judge, and you're going to work for me. We're going to make this shit work. We're going to figure out how to do this shit. Next thing you know, no DNA on the blind, no DNA on this. Oh, but in your phone is I'm like what the fuck is they looking at my phone for oh you looking up this that, and the third that don't mean nothing did I purchase anything you got me a, you got me with pictures with anything like do you see me texting telling anybody anything like is this mad circumstantial evidence how they try to uh, like specify certain shit like they hit you with some shit at trial like oh was you with him when he had the gray shirt on when he did this? Like, yeah, when he had the gray shirt on, they admitted to But they said some extra shit. So now the jury is thinking, oh, he had the color on, he said, and he did it that day. Like, that's fucked up. I used to see them juries. I'm like, yeah, I need them niggas to understand what's going on. Like, like my lawyer, like, you can't say nothing. You can't. Like, I'm in there writing notes. Just tell my lawyer, this is what you say. This is what you do. Like, yeah, like, what's going on? Like, y'all got to speak up. Like, that's why we're trying to give people hope. Like, don't give up. Stay focused. If the shit gonna discourage you. It's gonna hurt seeing your family come and see you back and forth. Going through that bullshit for two and a half hours to be received for one hour. And hopefully they see you before some shit happen. Like, it's just crazy. You got fucking dogs walking by your family, sniffing their ass all day. Like, it's this weird shit. They do shit to make people don't wanna be there for you. Like, my people was there. My mom, sister, my pops. Like, that shit was like real. Like, like niggas was there. Like, and it'd be the people that you never thought would be there for you. Those be the ones that's there. Like that. You'd be like, damn, like, I ain't really even say nothing to this person, but good morning, huh? They pull up to see you, send you a little card. Like, niggas don't be you knowing. Nigga want free prints. That shit costs five dollars. Free print. Niggas be niggas is all on the ground doing this, doing that. It, it, it's sad when niggas be sending pictures to other niggas that's not from their block and they be like, yo, look, yo niggas just send me some free. Like, what? This nigga. Nigga don't really even know you like that, nigga. Yeah, you are. Like, it'd be crazy. That's how niggas be. Like, niggas feel like if you a good nigga, you ain't no grimy, greaseball nigga. Like, niggas a dude. 
underhanded shit to just know that oh, fuck it. He, he he just that nigga a good nigga. He ain't gonna sweat that shit. He gonna just hold that down. But nah, that shit nah. Fool me once, I said fool me twice. That's too much. Niggas definitely. I've been through that shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't do too much, but I definitely was doing my little ones or twos, chilling out the way. You know, I got into a little bit of fights and shit. Niggas, you know, but ain't nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. Niggas knew like, nah, I still gonna go with you, true. Like, even when I'm not a crib with my niggas, I'm, I'm saying to myself, I ain't really in police face. I don't really know how niggas was thinking about that. So you ain't know, like, for me, I ain't doing all that. Or it was valid and fucking showers is all molded. Niggas ain't, niggas, niggas, chow taking four or five hours. For, like, that shit, like, if a nigga, if, if, if people in that spot never work, like, say if nobody had, like, the, the teenies never had no jobs, them fucking seals gotta do that shit they sell. All that mess hall work, over the wagons, the OBCC, VCBC, NIC. Like, I was doing all that shit by myself, nigga. I'm in the mess hall, lingering, doing my doing, eating good, telling, eating, selling. Niggas hating. Like, who the fuck is this nigga? He just came to the spot. Three months later, he working. Coming through, looking clean, getting mail all day. You ain't know, money visits and packages on the record. Like, I was heavy on my heart with shit. Best east side for real. Like, niggas see, that was not son's sturdy, son. You know, like, then niggas see I'm neutral. I was nigga ain't down or nothing. Like, you know, trying to jack with niggas jacking. Like, he just chilling, like, he out the way. I ain't never really care about that slot time shit. I just get on the phone. Whenever I really know how to get on, like, I ain't really been on the hell yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm good. For my love, I, I ain't really like doing that phone shit. Like, I really you know I was too stressed about court. And I'm, in my mind, I want to keep everything real right. Like, see, I'm talking to you right now. I know niggas gonna listen. I know niggas gonna watch this. So I'm saying certain shit. And certain shit you would know, but I wouldn't be saying too much. Like, and them niggas are sweet. You said one thing, and they turn it to, you said this. Ah, uh, not they. And them fucking phones definitely be monitor. You can't play with that shit. Niggas be losing it. See how niggas going in and start talking about shit. Next thing you know, you subpoena it. Now you're like, what the fuck happened? You said that shit on the phone. Oh, man, I was late. Like, once that shit come on, your phone is be recorded the morning. Like, once you dial that number, it's lit. They hear everything. Hey, you niggas talking about, yo, pass me this, yo, pass me that, yo, turn the TV on. They hear all that shit. That's why, nigga, that seven and a half years, my lawyer, like, yo, I'm glad you wasn't on the phone talking crazy. I'm glad you ain't catching on your source and that corny shit. I'm like, hell, I'm out the way. Like, shit was tempted, shit could have happened. I definitely was getting into fights all day, you know, like shit like that. But like, I knew how to move. Like niggas really don't be making it hot. Niggas get on the bathroom, come back out, like everything regular. I mean, grown men and shit. Niggas ain't getting any feelings. Nigga got a little busted lip, or you know, a little something like that. You know how shit is. And you got the niggas that's gonna make it hot. Like certain niggas, you know, like right, this nigga's gonna make it hot. So I might as well just like just get it on him because he's he, he he's a pop off. I mean, he's a car artist. He one of them niggas. Get in the hallway, quiet the whole time. I want to leave the crib and try to pop on a random nigga. I'll just do some off the wall shit. Like, niggas ain't got time for that. Like, you know, do you got you got certain you got certain people that really do work and they really help you. You know, for the people. Thirty came out of me is be for the people. Also, this make sure you get your. your being men stand, they ain't got to be too much, but the shit that they know they supposed to do, they act like they can't call on the phone to do certain shit. Like, this shit just be, just be crazy, bro. So yeah, you, like you, so you came home, you came home from the court, like, you you blew, you blew beat trial and then just came home out the courtroom? Yeah, I beat, I beat, I beat, um, I beat trial December 13, 2023. 20, and then, you know, when that shit happened, like, I didn't even know how to feel. My lawyer crying, my son Tiffany Wayne, shout out to her, my son. You know what I'm saying the niggas was crying and shit. I was like, yo, this shit real? I just did seven and a half, 2009 and 76 days. You know, they count everything. I'm like, that's like my 184 court day. I'm about to really walk out this shit. They soon you know the deal, like, oh, but well, you have to get sentenced from the trespassing and, 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 and the um, criminal possession and uh, the weapon and the third, even though it's a misdemeanor, and the two bullets. Like, bitch, that shit was 2019 that, that sentencing. I never sent me upstate. That niggas tried me in 2022. Then I tried me in 2023. I beat y'all with a different ju- uh, a different judge. The lady like, yo, you know under the table is um, it's 10 years, right? I'm like, yes, I know, but I'm going to trial. 
Like, you super serious? Are you on medication and stuff? Like, that lady was looking at me like, this nigga gotta be bugged out. Like, also, real shit. Niggas just look at me like, yo, you got a neighborhood defender. He's good, but you about to go to trial for your third time? You know, your third time is not always a charm. I said, well, I'm gonna make it that way. I promise, I see my mom, she's gonna be crying, my pops. Like, people I was coming to my family, friends and shit, like, everybody showed me love. It's like, damn, like, my son Seven was there. Like, here they go with these niggas with the maps. Yo, this, yo, this bitch had the maps of the hood. Like, 30, 40 maps. Like, it was just dragging, like, five weeks of nothing. No DNA, no nothing. Like, it was nothing to do to prove nothing but other than me running and me just being a nigga on parole and had a pass. That's all they go by. And that's fucked up because niggas really be changing. Niggas come home and change and you bringing up shit that happened 10 years ago. That shit is crazy. Like, you know, I went home, yo, when it, when I beat my when I beat my case, the fucking the fucking DA said, Oh, he got a warrant. I'm like how? I've been in fucking jail seven and a half years. They went back, I was in there for like four hours. I ain't I was in the independence no more. I'm out there walking around like, yeah, I'm out. I got my net bag, I'm host lit. I can't wait to change my clothes. I wasn't even on point. Nigga ain't I ain't gonna lie, I was scared this third one. This third one he was bringing up shit I ain't never seen the other two trials and it was like in your mind you know that you can't say nothing because i'm not getting on the stand i'm not speaking for myself i don't got nobody to speak for me and you gotta really put your life in 12 motherfuckers hands that never been through nothing yo when i say every trial they put like five the niggas in the room only like 10 niggas stay they don't want to be involved they don't care they probably feel away about niggas that court cases or did something to them in the past, or they, they're like, yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna find him guilty because I got robbed before, or somebody in my family got killed, or like the niggas really, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to have no feelings, supposed to be like hit both sides. Them niggas don't be doing that. That shit is real, nigga. That's, I was like, oh, I'm about to come home. Next thing you know, the, the Catholic bitch pull up on me, like, you about to leave right now. I'm like, oh, it's late. I'm walking. Like, damn, nigga, I was, yo, when I walked out that shit, everybody clapping. Like, yo, you finally made it on the other side. I'm like, whoa, nigga, from 2016, April to December, 13, 2023. I'm like, oh, nah, like, everybody posted on the gram. I said, no, no, my son, Lazy DLD came through. All my real rights came through. They was like, oh, it's late. My mom paid for shit to get the, um, took the, all the lawyers to the restaurant. We all ate good. I was like, damn, that shit was like, that shit just felt good. I'm getting smacked. My lawyers is happy. Like, yo, you really did it. Like, I gave them niggas, uh, like, I gave them niggas that hope, like, that shit used to be real. When you really get a bond with your lawyers, they be like, yo, bro, I don't want nothing to happen to you. This shit could go left. You could get 40 to life, nigga. Take that 15, take 10. I'm like, no, I'm not taking nothing, nigga. Fuck that. I'm not taking nothing. We're going to go. Like, that shit is really a poker game. You really got to be home. Like, like, that shit is like, that shit is no joke. Like, that shit could go left, nigga. I was, I was out there, like, I'm really at home. And then I came, I came through the hood. Feeling my sons on two second nights, they showing me love. Like, yo, what up? All my niggas, so I was my niggas, they like, yo, what's good, boy? I'm like, yo, what up? Like, just chilling. Went back in the crib. I see niggas in that, that building. They look like, oh, this nigga home. Like, they thought they saw a ghost. You know, they can see it on the ground. Like, nah, they ain't lying. He ain't home. Nigga, they like, yo, so I'm doing this. I'm like, oh, these niggas is corny. These niggas be really praying our niggas down for us. But I definitely made it out. I'm blessed, nigga. Where I'm doing my little screen and shit. You know, just vlogging. When I be taking my little trips, I just got my passport. I'm just about to go PR next week. I'm, I'm running around, man. Like, I'm living life. I'm about to start working. Do my little, 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 little cannabis shit, too. That's good, man. I'm just sticking it one day at a time, my nigga. Like, every time I get them JPs to my niggas, I'm like, damn, bro. And I'm just telling niggas, hold your head, bro. Stay focused. I'm sending the pictures. They're like, yo, you really outside, bro. How's your feel? Like, that shit is still, like, every day. Like, nah, I ain't hearing, oh, the fool. I ain't hearing none of that. Yo, 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 that was going down, huh? Spray, nigga be sleep. Nah, that shit be crazy. Like, that shit was, like, that shit is inhumane. Like, niggas ain't supposed to be going through that. That COVID shit was crazy. Niggas wasn't, niggas wasn't doing nice for niggas. Niggas is sick. Everybody, it's 47 niggas in the house. You probably got like 20 niggas that really get in the shower. Everybody else niggas is nasty, dirty. I washed the phones. Niggas hands in their pants, doing all this freak nasty shit. Like, that shit is just crazy, bro. Like, niggas be, that shit is really a wake up call. I'll be hoping niggas just stay focused and get out that shit and do what they gotta do to really just come back out here. But some niggas feel like they never come home. I've been around this. I ain't going home. Fuck that. I don't care about life. Them niggas, I'm like, oh shit. Those the niggas I be trying to tell you. Chill, bro, chill. Like, I don't give a fuck my life. I ain't got nobody. I ain't got my mother. And then you got your mother, you got your father. I don't got nobody. I had niggas used to be like, yo, bro, you got letters for your, your pops. 
yo, let me see those letters, yo, that nigga, like, he gone body or something? Like, nah, he just be on some positive shit. Like, boy, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga, every time I read his letter, that shit make me feel good, because I know, like, I don't got nobody, bro, like, I don't give a fuck about my family. Like, damn, like, when you hear that shit, it's like, like, damn, like, I don't know how that shit is. Like, that's what you do. Hate somebody in your family like that. You know, bro, bro, niggas be really on that. Like, fuck my family, I'm kid. Uh, I see niggas violent, they grandmothers. They like 60, 70 years old. I'm like, oh, these niggas is crazy. And then they don't do nothing in the crib. Some of them niggas, they be scared. The niggas be violent, hey, bitch. Slapping niggas out, they be the same niggas getting slapped up, washing drawers, and all this corny weird shit. Like, I'm like, yo, this shit crazy. Them, them hoots nights, niggas get the hoots, the lobby. Don't let them get the town shit. You get the town drinks, niggas really acting bad. We chilling them humble. Niggas ain't making it high. Good post, niggas just chilling like. Whatever spot I was at, I just tried to that shit peaceful. That four building, I said that shit cool. I ain't gonna lie, I'm playing PS4. Niggas is wild and like, I'm telling you it was wild. PS4 chilling, going to the gym, going to rack, niggas wilding, like everybody leading up, doing a little studio shit, we doing a little older culture class and shit. Like, you know, I met Mary Mary, they came through, I met them out front, running down, gassing them, like, this is my life, like, it's cool, then, you know, I was trying to get one of them, is it? Or, nigga, where, I seen the, fr- I saw the Kirk Freak, like, nigga, I'm like, oh, Kirk Freak, what up, nigga? You still in that bullshit? You start laughing, like, nah, nah, I'm chilling, like, this nigga, this funny nigga. He was in there chilling, la la, come through, like, it was, like, I could see they really trying to help the youth that's 22 and under, that's, that's like the, um, young adult shit, before it used to be, like, I think, I think 16 or something like see when you turn 18 you go to um ot back in the days when i was there 2011 you 18 you leave now it's like niggas be 22 years old niggas consider them as fucking 15 year olds baby them niggas got the little burgundy shit on you see when when the, when, the, when the rappers niggas came through and shit so i just be trying to keep them niggas focused they see me like bro you did all that time on the island like niggas be seeing me i already know they gonna ask me how does she feel to be on the rock seven and a half years bro been since 2016. I met niggas that did three, four bids and I still was there. Look, bro, how you still here? Man, nigga, how did you still got you here? 2019 trial, 11 to 1. 2022 trial, 10 2. And for the next one, like, yo, bro, you tough. God bless you. Ah, niggas the same. Like, you're going to make your home, bro. Like, you're a good dude. You're going to make your home stay out the way. Carry yourself well. You got niggas like, yo, bro. If I was, they like, yo, bro, you, 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 you going you gonna, to you gonna make it out. I used to hear that shit like, Phew. that's what I tell myself every day, nigga. All right, nigga. You, nigga. you know you know what's the worst part when people in your family die? You can't go to little visits because that's not like the main people. That's, that's like, damn, you can't see nothing. All you get is obituary. Some of them shit they don't want you to get because they think it's some off the wall shit. That shit be crazy, bro. Like, nigga be really just trying to just stay focused. All right, niggas. It, that shit different, though, from how it was back in the days now. It's crazy. It's sad. You got it. You got fucking these other niggas. You already know what them niggas is. Them niggas running cribs and beating niggas up, doing what they want. Them niggas is definitely yeah. Them, them fucking Samoans and all them niggas. All I be trying to just tell people to stay, stay out the way, my nigga. Nigga, that shit just take that shit take one second to get in. And you in there is a thousand cameras. So now you really gotta move the lead. Cause you you don't never know what's gonna happen. All right, niggas is blowing a spot with the camera right in front of them. You so ready handed like. So you really gotta be thinking like, is this nigga really worth fucking up my situation? I'm in a good spot, I'm good, I'm convenient for my family. Should I really pop on this nigga or really do what I do to go to another building? And my, I already know, I know this shit ain't gonna be convenient for my family. Like that's how niggas be losing their girls and shit. Niggas doing all this crazy shit, but nigga gotta hold it down. Nigga can't let nobody pump them. You let a nigga pump you one time, it's over. I ain't gonna lie. That, that shit is like you nigga in front of your store too, you jackass. Oh, yo, what's good, bro? Yo, I can um yo bro, I can kill you bro. like some tuna steaks, uh you get a nigga that next week you know a nigga asking for all types of shit. Now you tell the nigga no, he mad. I'm like, what? And I'm like, nah, I ain't doing none of that, we ain't starting nothing new. What you doing store? One for two? What we doing? <laughs> like dead ass, one for two, something. Something gotta get. Next week you know a nigga pull a stunt leave, nigga owe you twenty five hours of commissary, you tight. <laughs> Nigga be, niggas be just trusting anybody in that shit. Like, that shit, that shit is real. But sometimes you can meet good niggas in here. And like, damn, how the fuck? I met this nigga here. He more cool than the niggas I know from the town. You got some of them. You just got some niggas like, bro, I don't want to talk to this nigga. I mean, why I'm around him because we in the spot. Like, some of the niggas be on that. Like, this nigga would never be around me. Like, who is this nigga? Or, 
niggas be showing off. You know, when bitches come through, you know, bitches gonna choose. So I don't know why niggas be acting crazy. Like, they gonna do what they do. Like, they gonna pick what they pick. They gonna fuck with everybody. Bitches with everybody. You really know how that shit go. They can get mad. They wanna take a shirt off, do a thousand push ups. They wanna pop on a nigga. Just, 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 just get the bitch's attention. Like, that shit. I'm like, yeah, these niggas is way. I'm telling you that, that, that this, that shit is washed. Like, this is just too much. Like, it's like the that whole four building is really young niggas, 22 under. You got the older niggas that's there. The niggas like me, niggas want to chill. 20, 25 and up. Like, so yeah, them niggas want to chill, sit back. Good spot, convenient. Niggas playing PS4 all day. Niggas got something on three TVs. You already know. So it's, it's better. Like some, you, I was in the dorm, like at the end of my bed. That shit was the worst. When I first came to the cell spot, I was in the dog spot. She had a fucking dog cage. Niggas, boy, it's like, it's sad. They make this shit convenient for you. I'm thinking like, nah. Nigga, I'm like, they like you play the game? Like, you play, I don't play no fucking game in jail. Boy, like, I used to, uh, that's how I was feeling. Like, I'm not trying to get comfortable. I'm at Law Library. I'm on it. Like, niggas, who the niggas that's on it with their case trying to get out? I'm not playing the game. Like, that shit, feel me? Like, let's do the work. Let's get some work in. Feel me? Push up, son, and go out and get out of my way. Son, like, this is you know? This shit be nasty, though. I used to see niggas popping out police. This shit used to be like, what the fuck? It, it, it always be the police that ain't that bad, but it's just that one day they said some stupid shit. And they be, yo, they be like, damn. They shit and I said, none that day. Or, you never know what a nigga go through. Nigga wake up, nigga just slept, just had a wrong, wrong sleep. Nigga don't know you just, nigga just woke up on the other side of bed, like fuck it. And then nigga get that bad phone call, it's over. You ain't know. It's lit. Niggas ain't, niggas don't want to talk about nothing. Nigga break the phone, nigga like this wow. <laughs> Nigga try to break the shit, pull the shit off the court. Remember before, back in the days, they had the shit you could pull off. They don't got that no more. They got the, they got the little bullshit things. That shit nasty. Now they got tablets. You see how this shit work? Now they got tablets. All these years, niggas going crazy, wilding out, and niggas could have been had everybody with tablets. Like, that's how you know they, they like that shit. They ain't trying to shut that shit down. They trying to keep it going and keep doing weird shit. Like, that shit is crazy. Shit. That pad, that tablet shit, that shit is all over the fucking prison systems now, and I know that shit. I know, I know that shit done reduced, uh, all type of violence. Yeah, yeah, like you got some niggas that be on some fiend shit, sell they shit, and all types of shit. Then they charge niggas like four hundred dollars for a little bullshit sixty dollar one. Or uh, these fucking tablets, like then the shit really don't work, so you really don't got no service. The niggas are standing all around different corners. Like yo, when I say my last trial, I was like, I gotta get out of here. This shit was just everything was going wrong. You already know I'm up at five in the morning. I'm, I told money on the phone one time, your mom, I love you, whatever who I'm calling. Next thing you know, the niggas, I come back, phone off already. Tight, I gotta try to get somebody to do a three-way for me, do a three-way for me. Like, that shit is just whack. Like, that's why I said, hey, that, that's too much. Like, they, they making too much money out of this shit, and they just, and they still not doing what the fuck they supposed to do. Like, there's no way niggas supposed to miss. It's 24 houses. I think, like, yeah, it's like, it's like 40, yeah, it's like 48 houses in fucking, um, all in D.C. Nigga, they do... I did do one building, they take the five upper, they take the like, they take the whole five building, then then the next day they'll take all three. And the other so, day they do, huh? Pawn self, them niggas ain't violate no constitutional laws by taking that long to give you these trials. Like the seven years is old fucking deep. You feel me? Like so let's say a motherfucker is innocent until proven guilty. So a innocent man gotta lay up for seven motherfucking years to prove his innocence and then he prove his innocence then what them niggas ain't cutting no them niggas don't supposed to give you a bag cut a check do nothing you know what's so crazy my, one of my sons tells my boy he be he be Brooklyn Queens and Manhattan my son in the fast little old frivolous shit but on some weird shit I never really knew how to nigga, the first nigga think about coming home that's the first thing you think trying to come home so now when I came home like let me see what's up I'm here them niggas with I was eligible I was eligible for a release in, in March 2020 my conditional release was in May 2021 my maximum date was in September 2023 them niggas threw me in trial they knew I was supposed to leave with a max out remember they only found me guilty for the rest of the charges Mr. me that shit trespassing bullets bullshit so them niggas knew what they did they forced me like yo you don't want to take this 10 you don't want to take this 12 i right, we're gonna go to trial trying to scare me i held on like nah fuck that let's go 
So my max, like if you look me up right now on, on, the, on the dent, they say my, they, they lied to make it seem like I went upstate. So they saying like my expiration was in September. And that niggas had me in jail actually for 67 days. Plus then when I beat y'all niggas, y'all made me go back to jail and do 17 days. So now it's like, what's up, y'all niggas is doing? I'm just, I'm just them niggas off that bullshit. There's no way them niggas, how you, how you get, how I'm supposed to get my max to seven? I really already did seven and a half in prison. Then I beat y'all niggas, y'all tell me, yo, go home. They just like, say, go home for Christmas and New Year's and come back 10 days after your 30th birthday. That's what they did, they violated me. I turned myself back in January 31st. And yo, we can't help you, you got found guilty or something. I'm like, what a fucking misdemeanor? Not this you fucking misdemeanor. You, you, you mean amongst that seven years, you went home for 10 days? No, look, when I, December 13, 2023, when I beat it, then the bitch said that bullshit warrant shit, but that was the truth. Four hours later, let me go, and I did a little celebration with the family, all that, you know, in the spot downtown. They told me I had to return to get sentenced for my 2019 verdict. So when I, so I, so I was released December 13, January 31st. I came back to my my judge for my first and second case. And I, when I went there, I went to, the, I went there early. I was tight, you know me, I'm low. You already know everything. So you already know. So nigga, I went in there. That nigga so he did good, man. I'm glad you came home for this money I have. I'm sorry I gotta sentence you, but I'll sentence you to seven years. My lawyer like, nigga, he got seven and a half years in. What the fuck is you sentencing for? Oh, he gotta go and to get a number. So technically they still that, that shit was like, niggas they really did that. Like, ain't care. They're like, he gotta he gotta go off state. And then I still ain't in the lawyer state. That nigga sent me to the sixth building. I'm in there 17 days, seeing all this crazy COVID clone shit. Man. Man, every like every day they do the um what's that shit they call? They do the um, isolation shit. Like you be in one house for a little bit, they say no, oh, you gotta go somewhere else. And then like then they kept packing me up. You know you gotta fake comply, you know how that shit is. You know this they strike you, spray you the fuck down, you gonna fuck, you gonna go with them. So I'm going to these places, every time I'm going to these places, it's starting me over. It's starting my fucking new admission process over. So I'm gonna talk to my lawyer, like, what's up, yo, be on it, be on it. Call Albany, call these niggas, like why I'm not state ready. I got fucking seven and a half years and y'all niggas holding me in the fucking six building to wait for me to get off state to fucking get a number and come right back down. They're like, yes, they do, bro. Sometimes it'll take a month, month and a half. I'm on that. Hell no, I'm not on that. I'm not, not going to say it. Y'all just got the first chance of that town. I'm out there a month and a half. I'm wild. Like, why y'all bugging? Then I got to come in 10 days after my birthday. I'm in D.C. chilling on my birthday. Like, damn, I got to turn myself in 10 days. Like, what the fuck? Nigga turn 30 in the town and go right back in. Nigga fucking like, what the fuck you locked up for? Nigga still I got me charged I'm like, yo, bro, from that 2019 verdict. Nigga, the niggas ain't trying to give me no bread. Whole situation? Nah. They, they, they definitely not trying to get that. They definitely, they definitely did bad on that. That's what I'm saying. That's how they play. I'm blessed to be out, so I ain't really sweating it. But it's just, for them niggas to let me go, they bring me back, that shit had me feeling the way. That's why I pressed the issue and I was on it. That's how it was like, I was arrested on April 17. That's what I said. I was arrested on April, April 17, 2016. Immediately upon his release, um, the parole violation, May 6, they re arrest me. They charged me with six crimes. Then April 17, 2019, I only get convicted of misdemeanors at the hung jury. It's like, it was this mad shit. Like, everybody over your case is all over the place. Like, when niggas hear this shit, they're like, nah. Like, they just did what they want. They know you ain't have no paid lawyer. They know your lawyer's gonna really do too much. They got 1,300 niggas they taking care of and 40 niggas they see before they come see me in the jail. So it's like, they got other shit to do, but when they did see me, we made that shit work. The niggas ain't give me nothing but a DD-5 and fucking ballistic um, report. They ain't give me no, none of that fucking felony complaint for none of that stuff. So all I kept thinking was whatever I had that they said at the own parole hearing. That's it. And like, boys, who you got? I'm like, what are you saying? It's just shitting on you, bro. You supposed to have this? You supposed to have that? Niggas ain't give me nothing. Like, they, they just had me like, nigga, you're not getting shit. Go to trial. <laughs> I never forget I'm in a spot behind my business. I'm telling the nigga, I'm telling the sergeant, they're like, yo, bro, tell my lawyer to come see me so I can get my paperwork. I'm on it. You know a nigga be like, you're going to really say something, but you don't? I'm like, nah, I'm saying something today. I'm chilling, chopping up with the bitches. You see how bitch came through? Like, yo. She like, yo, don't say nothing. What do you mean? He said, yo, fucking judge about to pull up right now. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm like, I'm chilling. Nigga, pull up like you. I'm like, what's up? He said, um, why are you denying my courtroom? I said, I'm not denying your courtroom. I asked the sergeant to tell my lawyers, can he come back? So I asked him, can he 
actual legal documents. I don't have nothing to defend myself. It's been 19 months and I'm in here and nobody's doing nothing for me. He's like, oh, don't worry, you got suits? I got plenty of them, I got plenty of them. I got plenty of them. He said, yeah, so don't worry, we're gonna go to trial. I ain't gonna try to fucking seven months later. Like, niggas is crazy. Like, they really be trying to bluff you and scare you down. Bro. Like, I just stay focused. I ain't gonna fuck. Let's go. We out here. You already know you come back. Like, yeah, niggas gotta be tight, bro. Like, burn, nigga. Now, when I, when I was like, yeah, these niggas gonna see. They used to look at me like, you got the dream team, nigga. I was I was on my final four shit. NC double night. For real. I was like, we on these niggas, man. I was like, we getting that 10-10. We getting that 10-10 win today. That's all I was telling them, nigga. We getting that 10-10 win. You gotta, you gotta laugh through the pain of that shit, man. Cause if you don't, you be fucking burnt. I'm surprised I still got my fucking head, my nigga. Nigga be getting old, all types of shit. Niggas get that wrong back, so niggas start getting burnt, bummed out. Like shit, that shit no joke. Niggas be a zombie laying up and that shit. Nigga be here all that time. Nigga like fuck it. Let me see, let smoke this bullshit. That nigga's fucking me. All right, yeah. I'm good. I'm working out, get my mind right. Had a little late night here and there, a little yakko back home. Good. Got the little hoochie life, hoochie mommy, you know how we do it. Got left. Niggas is doing what we doing. I was just talking about we're going out, we're gonna make it out. Niggas work together. Let's do this shit right, like. Right? Niggas trying to do more than this shit, like. Right? I, I, I did good, man. That shit was a blessing. That shit was, that shit was real, man, like. Right? I, I, I just try to keep people, even when niggas be hit me up now, all my sons, to the spot, they be like, yo, what's good? Like, you know, try to get the lawyers. I'm like, boy, y'all niggas know I'm not no child lawyer, but I'm gonna try to figure out certain shit. To, I ask my lawyer, and he be like, yo, I'm gonna holler at them. Like, this is mad shit. Like, that shit. Yeah, them niggas definitely don't wanna get that bad. They definitely wanna be prejudiced, malicious, and, and do all that fucking this courtesy shit they do. Like, the niggas be slandering your name. You see the article, the niggas lie. Like, oh, his family did this and that, third. Took everybody phones for what? They ain't find nothing. Then they just gave niggas. Then they just gave my moms and my pops their phone back. Fucking 2022. That shit was 2019. Y'all took it. <laughs> yeah, I take the phones now. There was nothing in it. Never got criminal consent, tampering with witness or nothing. Like they just be putting shit on the news. If the niggas start going with it, and then it's just over. You got niggas in the hood make they shit, make they theory, do what they do, and it's like it's over. Niggas, just everybody saying they side. That's all. Like, let them niggas talk. Let them see what they say. I'm just going. I don't need no Kobe. I don't want no Kobe. Nobody was involved. I ain't saying that. I ain't put nobody involved with nothing. Niggas said mad shit. Like that shit was just. It was just crazy. Nigga be. Nigga be with you in a spot. Nigga in a spot with me. Like yo, bro. This person was there. That that that. I'm like yo, bro. Um, yo, tell my lawyer this shit. He like, nah, I don't want to have a snitch. I don't want to have a snitch. Like, bro, you're not going to go snitch. Go there. I can't come down to the council visit with you. Come to find out, the same nigga talking to me is the same nigga that was getting fucking McDonald's and shit. And they were telling the DA all types of shit. I'm like, wow. Nigga, you be right there telling me. I find out that I'm in a spot. The bitch like, yo. She like, yo, um. She like, she like why is that dude here? What you mean? She like, yeah, why? It's so crazy. I am. That's it's so weird. I am trying to say that nigga name. Cause that's how the DA was holding that nigga so much. She was like, why that dude? She's like, why that dude? Um, came down here from upstate. What you mean? I said, yeah. The one with the cut on the face. I'm like, oh nah. The next week, know my family. That none of them couldn't be in the courtroom. I'm like, oh, this nigga got this. She like, yeah, I fear for my life. Uh, I'm looking at my mom's. I'm sitting on the visit. Man, that nigga know he did bad. Nigga, you niggas be signing up to shit. It be rats, and then. Still acting like they ain't tell. Then when shit come out, find out. Nigga was mad I went to trial. Nigga, I went to trial. He was like, boy, you really went to trial? Like, they they telling niggas, you know, I did that. Like, then niggas just take something because, you know, this new niggas be having and they, and they, they, and they bloodline that niggas just be throwing something in the world. It is what it is. I just know I'm home all the way. I ain't fucking with niggas. That's it. All right. Come through. See who I see. Fuck who I fuck with. That's it. Like, Niggas really backdoor, niggas is really just snakes. Niggas ain't really. It's sad, cause the nigga that's gonna tell you the same one you gotta put in work on. Cause the nigga gonna tell. You disarm him, you do something to him, nigga gonna tell him. You know what? I ain't allowed to. He, he shot me. He did this. Like, niggas is telling, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's hard to find a couple of niggas that's really not gonna tell. If you do something to them, like, loved ones, nothing like. Niggas in the courtroom face fighting me. Niggas is 
telling the DA everything that's going on in the fucking town. Like, niggas is just, just going crazy. Like, that shit was, yo, that shit was nasty, man. You got the DA, like, oh, people texting him. I'm saying, yo, chill. They mom there, they gonna tell. I was just mad. Just like, what the fuck I gotta do? They, this bitch, this bitch looking at text messages about shit I'm talking about. Like that shit don't got nothing to do with now. I ain't, I ain't incriminating myself. I ain't talking about no crazy shit. But they just always make something sound like something. They say, oh yeah, be careful. Yeah, you know me, I'm gonna be careful. Oh yeah, that means he, he got something. Cause he said, you know I'm gonna be careful. No, it's uh, I'm gonna stay out the way. I'm gonna stay, you know, I'm gonna be good. Like, I'm gonna be out the way. I got you, like, we all good. The niggas always switch it up and amplifies it. All right, bro. So I'm saying, man, she all the real life. They're saying 10 toes down, doing what they gotta do. All the other sucker niggas, niggas, you know, you know niggas gonna find out, they gonna expose y'all, so. Just know, you can't, you gonna come to me, you gonna come to me, Mike, it's gonna come to light soon. You can't be dark all day for y'all niggas. All right. That shit, that shit, that shit hurt, bro. When you see a nigga, you with a nigga, that nigga, that a rat the whole time. You not even know until you go to another spot, like, that nigga's a rat. What? Yeah, that's why I never really tell niggas about nothing. I ain't really talking about my case. I ain't want to hear about other niggas' cases. I was heavy on that. Like, I don't want to hear about your case. I can't help you. I can't tell you nothing. All you got to do is tell your lawyer everything. Nigga be telling everybody in their house everything but their lawyer. Like, tell that nigga that. Like, I can't, you know, wish you well. Like, all I can tell you to do is just tell that nigga. Don't tell me. You don't know who in there. 60 day niggas. I said, think, like, who the fuck is 60 days in here? Like, you just really thinking, like, like, wow, like, it was, shit was just crazy. Like, you see, it was one nigga, I think, probably was 60 days. Everybody kept saying, the white nigga, he came in, he was in the print for like three, four days, and he just disappeared. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yeah, I ain't, I'm going back and forth to trial. I'm like, I don't want nobody. I ain't trying to talk about shit. Niggas coming back to, what happened? What happened? What they, what they talking about? You got some niggas hoping I get found guilty. Like, you just feel a nigga ain't really fucking with you. Like, what happened? What's the verdict? Thousand niggas in the crib, people going to trial, they get knocked off, so they looking at me like, yo, he gotta be next. Like, <laughs> or some real hate and shit like that. That's how niggas be, bro. Niggas be really praying on your downfall. Like, that shit just be like crazy. Like, nah, that's a yeah. fact, man. Misery loves company. Yeah, that's why you gotta just stay productive and stay out the way. Like, I'm telling you, I used to be, it was so rare. I used to be like sending a little, yo, I was wild and sending everything to fucking um, um, Fox, Fox 5. Like, you know the little, the little TV show, the court TV shit, the shit all the niggas be doing? I was sending all that my, like, I was sending, like, all my little, like, reasons why I would like to get help and all that shit, like, trying to shine light to all the funny shit that's going in my courtroom. That nigga sent me back two years later. Uh, six months later, oh, yeah, well, unfortunately, uh, you can talk to your lawyer about that. Like, y'all the same niggas act like that for the people or the news. All the niggas be forced fabricating all that thick bullshit you'd be like damn niggas ain't shit so i know when they saw me like that nigga home bro i was like i was writing all them shit nigga certified mail that shit that shit coming up to 67 dollars certified mail making sure niggas can't sit in and get it they signing off on it everybody i was sending all them shit all them niggas to the wrong way of nigga i was been trying to hit him up all them niggas everybody i was trying to hit everybody niggas wasn't on nothing even when i talked to shorty on the news that tina joint how that her? She, she said what she said. She didn't even say everything I wanted. I wanted to let her know, like, yo, it's mad shit going on. No services. Niggas, the, the fucking toilets is molded. The fucking paint, they just painting over it. They ain't really doing good. Like, they just doing whatever in there. They just, they just don't care. Come in. Fucking, you see, you see mushrooms and shit in the shower. Niggas don't even got good cleaning supplies, but niggas is trying to make it work. You know, doing the sanitation and shit working. So we bring it shit. Like, them niggas do not care. Like, Niggas fucking the tub was clogged up. Like, nigga, you got eight, you got eight toilets. Four of them shits don't work. <laughs> like, the niggas don't do nothing. Fucking the maintenance niggas in the building all day. None of them niggas do shit. Just walk around. Like, the niggas, that shit is like a fucking playground. The niggas having fun. The niggas don't give a fuck about nothing. That's like, that's the shit niggas gotta shine light on. Like, and, oh, because the right is, uh, that niggas ain't talking about shit that's really going on. Like, police average and all them come through. I ain't really talking about shit like niggas. Niggas be when they see them, they be starstruck. Niggas don't really want to tell them like, yo, come check the come check the dorm. Look how the dorm look. Why the fuck is this window crack? It's fucking ten degrees. Why the fuck? Yeah, like why the fuck? Why the fuck this TV broke? Why the fuck is forty eight niggas in the house? We only got four little little school lunch tables. You know, little tiny shits. Come on. So you got thousand niggas in the day room. It's, 
16 niggas sitting down. Everybody else got to stand up. Right there in the day room. That shit is crazy, like, inhumane. Like, man, shit, this is fucked up. They just don't care. The niggas ain't really doing no three on one complaints. Or if they're not doing three on one complaints, they not. They ran so much frivolous, um, like, them, them, little, them little claims, them, them New York controller shits, that they like, bro, that niggas just saying anything. Oh, I'm suing because I see a road like, So it's like, it's fucked up. And then it's like, damn, niggas do be doing stupid shit. But it's like, shit that matters, niggas know they sweep that shit out of the road, my nigga. We got niggas that shit. Yeah. Whole experience. This is why them niggas is trying to really close that shit down, man. I mean, or acting like they want to close yeah, that shit down. Yeah, they don't want that money. Yeah, they ain't gonna help that. They let that money. That's yeah. what I'm saying. They, 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 I think they shut down on VCBC. They made that shit like some, some ISIS shit or some crazy shit like that. So, but that shit is just, it's sad. Like, when you see that, yo, like, when I used to see niggas in Exodus and they come through, it's like, damn, like, these niggas been through this shit. They made it out through little facilitating shit. And these niggas always stereotyping, oh, this and that. Like one of my sons, he ended up he ended up getting through it. He was lit. Niggas was hating on him. Took him out for like seven, eight months. He came back. I was hype. Like yo, niggas, I hate you. Like you know, you know people. That shit, that shit golden. That resource shit is real hit. Like the niggas don't be, they don't be wanting niggas to win, bro. That shit is crazy. They shut all those programs down. It's nothing. Like right now, all the programs I did, welding, um, slagging, CPR, all that shit. Like when, when you finish the programs, they make it seem like they gonna um, give you, they gonna send this shit to your crib. So now I'm writing these people, I'm like, yo, what's up? Like I was here, this is one of the cars I got in the old year. Um, we can't do nothing because uh, um, I think you should reach out to these people. Like it's just all run around. Like all that shit be run around. That shit is crazy. I have to, um, some other shit happened recently when I, oh yeah, you know, I've been on my mother. Like, I went to, I went to St. Thomas. They dubbed me my second day. Like, yo, um, we need proof where you was at for five years. My nigga, I just did seven and a half years. What the fuck, five years ago I was in jail. Oh, do you have a job? I just passed the cannabis shit in July. Like, I'm doing a little Zoom shit, program cannabis, you know, a little funding, little grant shit I'm doing, you know? So, what's up? Oh, okay, that's good. Like, next thing you know, oh yeah, well, um, but you still can't get it. I have to get them niggas my whole fucking web promo sheet from my, my first court day, May 6th, 2016, all the way to my final last court day. Then I, then I did just send that shit two days back to my crib. I got my passport. Like, this shit is crazy. Niggas want to be in my business. Like, I told you I was in here five years. Past five years. What the, like, fuck, I'm lying? Like, passport shit is crazy. They didn't, they didn't want you to call the jail. They didn't want you to call the three on one shit to, to, to get certain shit to be able to have proof. I mean, they just, it's just too much running around. Like, you really gotta be, like, from where I came from, and like, so niggas know, like, how to how this be discouraged and go through bullshit, and all of us go through the same shit, even if you did jail time, you did. But you just know, like, these niggas always want us to give up. They always want us to just, like, fuck it. I ain't paying that shit no more. I'm gonna do something else. Like, I said, nah, fuck it. I'm gonna, you call my lawyer, this, that, I bet now it's done. Like, they just give you the runaround. Like, nobody want to do what the fuck they want to do, so they want to give it to the fourth person. Like, I'm telling you, like, don't let you know what you talk about, they be mad. Like, when you really tell captains, fucking, like, you know, fucking security people, all this funny shit. Like, y'all niggas be doing whack shit. Y'all know what y'all do. What if, what the fuck is the razors at? You got 47 niggas in here, niggas going to court every other day, and niggas need razors. You can't go to the barbershop every 14 days. That's bullshit. It'd be sad. You got a nigga that work in barbershop. They ain't gonna say, yo, fuck it, bring the, bring the clip this and do it in the crib. They don't. They're like, fuck that. When they, yeah, go in, go. Or you wanna, you know, have like four niggas on the low. After they going somewhere, take them to the barbershop. I'm like, damn, I be feeling bad when I'm that nigga that I gotta go to Lower Spill I'm like, damn, I'm like, bro, you gotta take everything. Hey, you can't keep doing that, bro. They come back with the crispy cut, they go like, ah, oh, you know I got the dreads, too, so you know they can see me like, ah, oh, we got the cut. <laughs> bro, that shit, that shit is crazy, man. Like, nigga just, you know, niggas hold their head, man, stay focused. Whoever listen to this, man, just, just know that this brother is definitely speaking the truth, and man, niggas fan, talk they shit, you know, nigga ain't feeling like, he, he just got to make up shit or, or like, nigga, like, keep nigga really concerned. Like, I seen a couple of stories and shit, like, that's what's up, like, niggas, a lot of people went through some shit in prisons, wherever in the town, like, like, you feel me? Like, shout out to my son, 38, that's my boy, that's my boy from my side. 
bro. When I seen that shot, I'm like, damn, this is a nigga I grew up with. Like, I watched him grow up. Like, I'm older than him, so it's like, when I'm doing this right here, I, hopefully the niggas that, that's under than me, 30 and under, niggas, see like, damn, yo, my son Bula really, I know Bula since 06, 07, I'm wild and doing all this corny shit. He got locked up in 09, just little punk ass, couple months, came home, feel me? Then we had to do, then get caught up in some bullshit, 2011. Damn, yeah, son, son of good nigga, came on 2013, all kids like this. I'm sure like, over the night, worth the D roll, like this, outside, they drilled all the joints, all around the world, like just living, man. Living and spending time with the family, the nigga get locked up again. Like, that shit is a revolving door, like, you gotta really, that, that shit is a black cloud in my hood, like, why well, you know that shit? I love that shit to death, that shit, shoot not it, bro. The two bids of that shit, like, three, really. <laughs> that ass. I, too, I got two felonies, but I put my, all my cases in the hood, like, every time. That like, shit is just, like, not it. It's like, you nigga come home, and nigga don't want to never, nigga ever think that. A nigga ain't, feel me? You're capable of doing other stuff better than just that. Like, that's why this team is coming around. Like, I'm 30 years old. Now. I ain't got time to be running around doing all that corny shit. I've been stopped doing that. Oh, nine. Nah. Like, when I was 15, I already knew I was that nigga. It was over. I got shot in oh, nine. Bronx doing what I'm doing, like, it's weird why shit was going on, like, I'm just out the way, like, nigga, just seen so much, like, nigga, that's why when I was in the spot, all these niggas, all these dope heads, fiend heads, niggas be, be the same nigga coming to the spot, get their weight up, and these niggas be the man, like, look at this nigga, do you see him outside on 42nd Street, begging for two dollars, but this the same nigga, if he go to the spot right now, he lit, you can't tell that nigga nothing, niggas ain't respecting him in the town, but niggas got respect in that jail, Niggas be coming in, getting they up. Niggas save up money. Niggas just run it out, do whatever they do. And some niggas really be want to go in there, do a little 90 days, a little bullet, come back. Yeah, I'm out. Like, I'm like, these niggas like, what? You did bullet like four or five times. Heads come off three times. I'm still here. Niggas did two, three bids, four violations. I'm still here. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that, that article. Everybody say me up, yo, you was on the article, bro. You was on the newspaper. I saw you all you really home, my nigga. I'm happy for you. I'm like, yeah, I appreciate that, my nigga. Like, that shit still don't be from the real. Like, nigga, I don't know. That's what nigga trying to, you know? Craig, Paul, saw the family. Nigga got a son. Nigga got my, my two nephews, my niece. You know, like, I'm just trying to get back. So nigga definitely want to get back. So I'm saying I enjoyed this summer. I'm about to go to PR right now, a couple, couple of weeks. I want to be outside. It's lit. You already know. My son, my son lies. I heard be like, niggas got this whole head man in that shit, man. All my niggas in the full building. GRBC, OBCC, MKC. All my niggas up, 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 Miss Wings, my son Prane, all the real whites, my son G5, my son ESH, my son Smooth B. Yeah. Yeah, all the real whites. One time, it was like me and I think two of my mans. But we, we all from Howard. We had just came off the C train at Rockaway from being uptown at my father's crib. You heard I used to go uptown, check my pops, check my grandmother, check my uncle. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, my uncle had a Nintendo with mad games. We used to go up there, bring out a Nintendo play games for the weekend, spend the weekend at my pop's crib. You heard me was heavily into that Nintendo action, Sega, all of that. You heard so. One day we was coming home off the sea train from coming uptown. And my man, you know, my memory is a little shaky with this particular story, a little bit. But if I can recall correctly, you know, it was three of us and we was coming down the hill and I had on a JV Varsity Bad Boys jacket. It was like some acid wash jean jackets that had came out back in like the 80s that these was fire jackets. They had a big JV on the back. I had the red acid wash one. You heard? 
So Mad Dudes was wearing this JV joint. I'm gonna see if I could find a picture of it. And um, I was kind of young to have one because dudes was getting robbed for them joints all around Brownsville. You heard? And I was kind of young to have one of them joints. But my mom's bought me one because she loved the style of them shits. She was like, I gotta get you one of them joints. So I had the shit and I was coming down Rockaway Avenue with like two of my mans and we was walking past Atlantic Towers. And as soon as we got to Atlantic Towers, I seen it was a mob of niggas in front of the building, like in front of the entrance rather of Atlantic Towers right there on Rockaway. You heard now these niggas, all of them was older than us. We was all young. My man, one of my mans was two years older than me. I had to be about 11 years old. So he had to be like 13. My other man had to be like, you know, around the same age as me, if not a year younger or whatever. So we passed the dudes at Atlantic Towers. There was a mob of them in front of the entrance of Atlantic Towers. I knew what time it was. They was older dudes, you heard? So we got down to like, we got down to like where the weed spot used to be at. You know what I mean? Like, right, like maybe right across the street from um, 55, you heard? Like right across the street from 55. We looked up, just see the whole mob of niggas running down the hill coming after us, you heard? We start booking it. And all I can remember is while I was running, them niggas was trying to grab the JV jacket off my back. And I just kept running, kept running, kept running. So them niggas was chasing me, chasing me, chasing me. And, and one of the niggas just grabbed the back of the JV jacket and they was pulling that shit, pulling the JV jacket. And I finally put my arms back so that shit could come up off me because I was trying to run and the niggas was just dragging me back, dragging me back, dragging me back. So I came about that shit so that I could get away. You feel what I'm saying? And then this is the part of my memory that's blurry. Either they grabbed me or they grabbed one of my other mans and said, yo, if you don't come back, my man with the book bag had kind of got away. And they grabbed one of us and was like, yo, if you don't, if you don't come back with that book bag, we going to kill your motherfucking man. And my man was forced to come back and hand over the book bag. And them niggas got the Nintendo with mad cartridges, joysticks, all that. And them niggas bounced and ran back up the hill to Atlantic Towers. Niggas got me for my JV jacket and got my man for the motherfucking um, Nintendo with the cartridges. We was tight. We was tight. Them niggas was mad older than me. Them niggas was mad older than us. You feel what I'm saying? Them niggas was not niggas our age. Them niggas was straight teenagers. You heard? So we was defeated that day. So, you know, I, I laugh when people be like, yo, but Atlantic Towers, that shit ain't really a project. Like, yo, bro, that shit is the hood, my nigga. Them niggas, them niggas ran us down. Them niggas ran me down for my JV jacket and robbed my man for the Nintendo with the cartridges. You heard? So that shit is a hood like any other hood, my nigga. But um, that was back in the days, man. Shout out to Atlantic Towers. Shout out to the bro Shannon, the Cannon Briggs from out of Atlantic Towers. You feel what I'm saying? And shout out to the whole Brownsville, the whole Brooklyn, man.